We are on Parah Parak Yud Aleph Mishnah Zion, seventh Mishnah, the eleventh chapter of Masechet Parah. So we're learning about the Ezov. The Ezov is the Hisab, but Hisab really means we know it's talking about Zatar. So you, the Ezov appears twice in uh, in in uh, in uh, the Parsha by Midbar about the Parah Aduma. The first one is here. V'lakach Koin Eitz Erez Ve'Ezov Koin Shnekin Eitz Erevs and Ezov. Let's make it. Uh, we'll make it something you can see. Ezov. And you throw it into the parat, you throw it into the burning thing. But then, in this, once you have the the mm-hmm. the water, it says here, mm-hmm. you take an azov, you dip it in water, you take the azov, and you're, you're going to use the azov for the sprinkling of the parat aduma. So, what kind of azov is this? Says the Mishnah. If the azov has another name, it has a different name, it's like a certain kind of azov. Pasul, that you can't use that. We'll see what that is in a minute. Azov zeh, if you, Azov, this Azov is kasher. What does that mean? It says about Tunura. Glamar, meaning, Azov stam, a stam Azov, shero eoto omer. Somebody who sees it says, ze Azov. Oh, that's an Azov. That's Azov zeh. That's an Azov who be stam. That's Azov without saying what kind of Azov. It's not, that's not a hybridian Azov. That's not a, you know, German Azov. Azov, that's an Azov. Then it's kasher. That's the one you want to use. But Azov Yavan, Greek Azov. Ezov kochalit. That's a blue Ezov, the Kahati says. Ezov Romi, Roman Ezov. Ezov Bidbari, the uh, desert Ezov. All those things, that's Shem Levi. It's a kind of Ezov. All of those are Pasul. You can't use them for sprinkling your Paraduma. Bashel Trumat Tmea Pasul. So if you have, if you have the Bardura points out that Ezov, remember we said is Zatar, so it's food. So a farmer had, he plants his Zatar, the people, they have to give some of it to the Kohen. As Truma, it has Kedusha. And if it became Tame, then you can't use it. And therefore, if it's Truma Tamea, it's Pasul, you can't use it for a sprinkling. Veshel Tehora, Lo Yazeh, Vimiza, Kasher. You shouldn't use it, but if you did, the sprinkling is okay. Now, the, re- the reason is, I mean, the Bartunura seems, seems to imply you shouldn't do it. Why? Because they should have seed at a Truma. You're going to lose the Truma. I think what it really means, because remember we learned that the Paraduma is metame, everything that's not for the purposes of Paraduma. So while you use it, it's fine. But after you're done using it, I think what the Mishnah means, and the Kati says something different, but I think what it means is that after you use it, it's no longer paraduma, it's wet, it's wet with paraduma juice, and therefore it would make it tame. And that's why you shouldn't use it, even though the hazaya, the sprinkling, is fine. Ein mazin lobi yonkot velobit marot. So the tamarot is, so the Bartanura says, tamarot kamin gargarin shiesh veroshe ha'izov, like they're like seas. So if you look up Syrian oregano, which is hyssop and mountain valley growers, I guess, and you look at the picture, you can actually see quite well, like it has, it has flowers that bud, right? And when, the, when it's flowering, it's sort of bundled up. You kind of see it's bundled up. So you can't use it when it's, that's, that sounds like, it sounds like that's what it means, that you're not allowed to use it when it's, when it's tamarot, when it has these, like, gargarim, the roshei ha'izov, okay? And we're going to see, en chayavin ala yonkot al bi'at migdash. We'll see what yonkot is in a second. We're going to see at the end. Yonah chayav on the yonkot, okay? Tamei, shehizu ala biyonkot. If you use them when they're yonkot, okay, when they're not fully grown, we'll see. Uba haza azo ala You did it. You're not supposed to use it, but if you did it for sprinkling, ain't no chayav. So he's not tamei, he's not chayav. You have to sprinkle him again, but he's okay. My Belez Romer, Belez says, aflo al tamarot. Even if you did it when they're tamarot, when they're these like seeds at the end. Elu yonkot. What are the elu and a yonkot? What are the yonkot? Yonik is like young. Give olim shelo gamalu. Give olim are stalks shelo gamalu. Kozman cha perach munach betoch kiso. As long as long as the flower is in its pocket, kodim shifatach. Oh, before it opens. So you see, you have these flowers that grow. This is an unopened flower. So it's before it develops, before the flower opens. That's considered yonkot, and you can't use them before it's a fully matured azov azov plant. And then you take it, and you're gonna spritz the guy with the water. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning. To the memory of my father, let me see if I can find this memory of my father. There we go. Arab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.